Okay, so um, a project that's been sat on my side to paint for quite a while now. Um, I finally got around to finishing. So this is the Forge World Malkador in Furnace. It's a pretty big tank guys, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split off the um, get a bit at the back there and we're going to go and look at it a bit at a time. So we've weathered the whole thing down and he's looking pretty mean. So uh, you've seen an earlier video I think on this, I can't remember what I've done with it now, um, but hit the whole thing over with the airbrush, it's very light brown, put the camo patterns on, little bits of the chaos iconography and things on there, and then we went over, did some chips in the armour uh, with bolt gun metal, and then plastered, and I mean absolutely plastered the whole thing in Devlin mud. Um, this is where the last of my Devlin mud went. I have none left now, so I'm onto Agrax Earthshade. And uh, then just picked out the chips with a bit of chain mail on the top. It just makes them stand out. The searchlight in there just needs a bit of glossing. But uh, that is the Malkador so far. Had a little bit of a play with some uh, weathering powders for little spots of rust coming down. The main bit that I've used weathering powder on, on this part of the machine, is here around the flamer nozzle for a nice build up of, uh, of soot around there because it's a big old flamey tank. I think a bit of soot is needed. As you can see, the bottom there, very, very clean because no one ever sees the bottom of a tank, it just goes around like that. Um, so the sponsons. Went with the um, heavy stubbers on the side. I didn't want to pay too much point cost for them because at the end of the day this is uh, an anti-troop weapon. Didn't need much anti-tank. That's what the other machines are for. So this comes flying along the board. Dragging this behind it which is the uh, fuel trailer. Now this one I have gone and put some weathering powder of rust across the wheels quite heavily. And you can see here where I've rusted down from the bolts. And this was done in pretty much the same way. Hit across with the airbrush, had the camo patterns put on. Very, very heavy Devlin mud again. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty chuffed. It's uh, been sat on my to-do list for a while. It was half done. And uh, there you have it. Malkador in Furnace for the Renegade Guard. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned, and uh, I'll get my other bits and bobs done for them in the near future.